because the gentleman who hands out those rolls of paper, this is a largely ignored fact, ladies and gentlemen, he wears gloves. Why? Now here's science at work. I did this research. I believe, this is only my theory to explain what I have observed, you follow? So far, it's worked fine. My idea is that there is a genetically engineered chemical on those rolls of paper. <laughs> Very carefully, genetically engineered in such a way that the moment that it touches the skin of the recipient, it goes directly into the skin, into the bloodstream, circulates directly to the brain, and attacks a certain part of the brain, the speech center, uh, the small part of that speech center, which is responsible for saying two sentences. And those two are, I don't know, and I was wrong. <laughs> now, as I say, I don't make this statement lightly. I have researched this. I have never heard a PhD utter either one of those sentences. <laughs> I've challenged them to do it, and it's not a pretty sight. <laughs> oh, that's easy enough. I was Ricky. I was, hmm. I was, I was hmm. they, they can't say those sentences, so I believe my theory may be correct. And I do hope that you'll forgive me for putting you on for that few minutes, but hey, that's science, and that's the way it works. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, again, am not a scientist. Uh, I've had certain honors in my day. I've uh, spoken for a gust group such as uh, this one all over the world, and I've um, had a, an honorary degree or two thrown my way. They're degrees of humane letters. I have no idea what the letters are, even. <laughs> Maybe only A through E, I'm not sure. I'm working on the rest of the alphabet as we speak. But I, I do have one distinction that perhaps not many in this room have. I have a, had an asteroid named after me by the International Astronomical Union, and um, it's called Randy, appropriately enough. And uh, it, uh, I, I even know the, the uh, orbital um, uh, parameters of it, and I could probably give it to you if I was forced. I had the great pleasure of getting on email the minute that I heard that this honor had been granted me, and I emailed uh, Sir Arthur, then not Sir, but now Sir Arthur C. Clarke in Sri Lanka, and I said, Arthur, guess what? They've just named an asteroid after me. Wee! And um, a couple of hours later, I got back a very dry email. If email can be dry, his was dry. And he said, uh, oh, how interesting. I congratulate you. I had an asteroid named after me eight years ago. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I looked into his asteroid and mine. And I found that asteroid Clark is eight kilometers on a side, asteroid Randy is 11 kilometers on a side. <laughs> I had the great pleasure of emailing him back saying, Arthur, my asteroid is bigger than your asteroid. <laughs> so there. But these small honors, these small honors that have come my way, I don't think for a moment that I, I don't appreciate them. I do very much. But I would much rather have the experience, as I do from time to time, getting a letter from someone who has said uh, that I made a big change in their lives. Now, this happened not too long ago, about two years ago now. My secretary called me from the front of my office at the James Randi Educational Foundation in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and said, you've got to come and talk to this young man. And I went out and met this fellow with a briefcase, and he introduced himself. He says, my name is Dr. So-and-so. You wouldn't know me, Mr. Andy, but when I was 17 years of age, I bought your book, Flim Flam. And boy, did I hate you, because I was determined that I was going to go to college and become a parapsychologist. And he said, I read your book, and I made marks all the way through it. It's really dog-eared and nasty looking now. He said, and I decided I was going to check up and prove that you were absolutely wrong. And two-thirds of the way through the book, I looked around and said, wait a minute, I think he's right. And he said, I changed my direction, and I'm now um, interning right down the street at Robert General Hospital here in abdominal surgery. And he said, uh, I have you to thank for that. Now, that's the kind of reward that doesn't come all that often, but it is very, very edifying to know that I've actually changed somebody's life. And today, I don't think I'm going to change any lives, but I may change your attitude about a few things. 